Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Sani and you guys are watching Coding with Sani. In this video, I'm going to design layout for an application just like this, where we will have four different options to click one icon, then a background just like this, and at the end, a copyright option. So let's get started. Start new Android project, empty activity. And here, I'm going to change the name, my right layout. Okay, then click finish. Our project is ready. Let me minimize it. The first thing I'm going to do is to copy the resources inside our tribal folder. So I have already created two images. One is this one, and other one is for icon. Just control C and paste into your tribal folder. Do not choose the tribal version 24, just choose this one. And press OK. OK. And now, as you can see, that both of the images are inside our tribal folder. Now, go open your layout file, closing it, and first change this Android layout to relative layout, removing the dummy text. OK. So, if I open the mock up of our, our application, the first thing we're going to need is this background image on the whole screen so i would be using an image view over here with the match parent and match parent let me provide this an id this would be background image next thing you need to do is to set the source for it that was our my ride app image but as you can see that this is not appearing on the full of our screen so i would be using the scale type to center crop that's it Next thing you need to set is the alpha for it, and alpha would be 0 0.6. When we decrease the opacity of our image, the white background, which is a background color of our relative layout by default, is a started to appear onto image. To overcome this issue, go into your project, values, color file. Inside the color file, I'm going to define a new color with the name color black. And here, providing the hexadecimal value. Okay. Now go back into your activity file by pressing Control Tab and set the background of your layout to color black. Now you can see that that is a, just like our mockup. So if I open our mockup, then you can see the first thing is this icon. We have already imported this icon into our tribal folder. So I'm going to create another image view over here. Image view with the height of 90 dp and width of 90 dp as well. Next thing you need to do is to provide an ID. ID would be logo icon. You can set whatever ID you want to set. After that, set the center and parent to true and align parent top to true as well. Now set the margin top to 70 dp. Okay, and set the source to my right icon that we imported into previous step. After that, set the scale top to center crop. Okay, so this is just like mock-up. If you want to change the setting like height and width or margin, you can change accordingly. Next thing we need to do is to have these four icons that we will be using into our application. To create such icons, open your project, resources, right click on tribal, new, and from the image assets, choose action bar and tab icon, then click on this icon. First icon would be car. I would be using this icon. Just change the name to icon car. You can have the customized color, but I'm not going to use those. Just click next. Finish. Again, we are going to get another image assets. That was food. I'm going to choose this one. This is for food. So this would be food icon. Next and finish. Another image asset. This would be message. And I'm going to choose this. Change the name to message. 
click next and finish after that click choose the last asset that is actually calendar click on over here contact number okay so i'm going to name it contact and click next finish so we have with the width of match parent and i'm going to use 250 as cp to get started now let me set the id for it and id would be inner relative layout and this would be below of our icon actually this should not be self close as we are going to put the icon inside it let me create some space over here so you guys can see it now i am going to create our first image view and this image view would be of let me start with http http closing it providing the id for it and this would be let me check the mock up this is core actually our car icon now let me set the source that was ic car but uh, let me change the height to a bit and width okay line parent center to true true okay now i'm going to create another image view just copying this and pasting below of it and let me change the icon this this would be our contact contact icon and change this to contact icon contact and this would be to write off our car icon and instead of setting the center and parent to true just change the and this would be if we change this to as well and just set the gravity to center and these will be placed automatically into the center of your layout next we are going to have two more icons just copying pasting over here next one it would be our message icon and here i'm going to choose the message and this would be below of our car icon after that we will be using our food icon and change the tribal to food and instead of to write off this would be below of our car icon and this would be to write off our message icon so we have designed the initial screen for our dashboard now in the next step we are going to create the border and a border with the solid color for our application so let me get back into android studio first i am going to create a background for this icon so go into your project right click on it resources right click on tribal new driver resource file and from here choose the name and this would be car underscore background you can have any name whatever you want to have first thing you need to do is to change this to shape and what of type of shape we are going to use is rectangle now if we see into our mockup we are only going to have this stroke color we're going to have a transparent color for our solid for that purpose only going to use the stroke with the width of two but first i need to create a color for it so going back into our color file and inside color file i'm going to create another color with the name of color white and here let me put the color okay so this should be 2dp and color would be color white at the same time you need to set this top left corner radius to set the radius i'm going to use the corner and radius top left radius and this would be i'm going to set 8 dp now getting back into our main activity inside it i'm going to set the background for this image and this would be core background so as you can see that that background has appeared over here now we are going to create the same for the contact message and food but before that let me create a color for our contact this would be color sky blue just click over here when the color will be created just click over here to choose a color over here after creating the color go over here again click right click on tribal new tribal resource file and this would be our contact background okay change the shape again shape 
and shape would be of the hypercrangle. Here I would be using the as you can see from the mockup, there is a solid background color of this icon. So I would be using solid with the background color sky blue color. And as far as corners are concerned, I'm going to set the top right radius to 8 dp. Okay, now go back into your activity underscore main and inside this, just set the background to contact background. And that background will appear over here. Next, we are going to create a background for this. But before that, let me create that color over here in the color file. Color and color would be light green. Just let me copy this color over here. Instead of creating the default color, just you no know, click over here on this icon, and you can choose whatever color you want to have over here. So I would be choosing something like this. Now go to project, right click on tribal, new tribal resource file, and I'm going to name it message background. Again, first thing you need to change is the shape, and shape would be of type rectangle. Inside it, we are going to use the solid with the color, color was light green, and now set the corner corner and now we are going to set the bottom left radius okay so you can set uh, radius on all sides but here as a, as far as requirement is concerned i'm going to set bottom left radius and this would be a dpa now go back into your activity underscore main file and inside this file just set the background background to message background okay and that would appear over here and the last you need to create another background for our food right click on tribal tribal source file and this would be food vg change the vector again to shape shape would be rectangle and inside it i'm going to use the stroke over here and stroke would be color white with the width of 2 dpa now let me set the corner for it and corner would be of bottom right radius and this would be a dpa close it go back into your activity underscore main and in the last just set the background of this icon as well this was food bg and close it so as you can see from the picture that right now we have created the backgrounds for all of our icons next thing we're going to set is the size and padding for all of our icons First, I'm going to change the size for our all of icons. Let me change it to 130. I'm going to quickly change it. Okay, now let me change the width to 70. Now let me set the margin on all sides. First thing, I'm going to set the margin over here. This would be margin on all sides to 10 dpa. Okay. So this will automatically set the margin on all sides. In the second icon, I'm going to set the margin on top, margin top to 10 dpa. For the next icon, I'm going to set the margin right to 10 dpa. As far as margin left, 10 dpa as well so you can see that all the images have been placed into proper order in the last step we are going to create a string that would be used as a copyright option under all of these icons okay to create the string go into your string file resources values and in string file click on string file inside the string file i'm going to create a string and let me name it copy right string and this would be design, design and develop under open panel license. This is just a dummy string. Next thing we need is a little copyright icon. For that purpose, go into your tribal, right click on it, go into your image assets again, click on this icon, and from here choose the copyright. Just click copyright and change this to copyright. Copyrights, just click next. 
and finish. Now inside your activity underscore main, go on to bottom and after this layout file, this is not actually the inner layout, not the outer layout, which is actually the parent layout. So don't confuse it with the outer layout. So create a text view with a match parent and wrap content, close it and align it to parent bottom to true. Okay, now set the text to our copyright string. Change the text color to color white. Okay, and now set the gravity to center. At the same time, at the same time, margin bottom to 10 dpa. Okay, and again, you need to set the for the icon, you need to set drawable left. This would be our copyright copyright icon okay now change the width to wrap content and set the center and parent to true next thing you need to set is the padding which is drawable padding to 7 dpa then you can create over here the drawable padding has been created inside it now change the gravity to center left okay that's it we have completed our design the next thing you need to do is to change the style if you want to appear the action bar over here don't change the style otherwise go into your app then resources and into your values then style and over here just change this to app compact dot no action bar so the final step just let me run the application okay guys our application is up and running and this is the view that we have created you can see that there is no action bar over here and all of these images are appearing like icons we have created in android studio so if you find any query or question related to this please feel free to ask that in the comment box see you guys in the next video i'm going to use the on click attribute of image views so see you guys in the next video